everybody, and welcome to Row 60, a Georgia football podcast. My name is Clark Gaines. Joining me today, as always, Adam Thornton. Ooh, woo, baby! This is ah. show number 75. Yes, sir, Clark. 75, man. Just mowing them down. Mowing yeah. episodes down, man. I mean, golly, it's, it's crazy to think that we are going to be coming up on our fourth season of doing Row 60. Jeez. Yeah, it is. Season number four. If we started as freshmen in 2021, we'd be seniors. We'd be seniors. We'd be seniors. Yeah. This would be the uh, the farewell tour. Do we get a COVID year? I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't <laughs> know. Yeah, I mean, no, well, we're starting 21, so we're not going to be true. able to, to get that, right? So, sure. uh, but no, I mean, very exciting, man. Uh, hey, me and you have both been very, very busy lately. Like probably the most busiest time and I, and I know all of everybody's been busy it's a busy time of year right now and whatnot so uh it it's good though always good to get back on the mic man I'm, I'm longing for the days when we're doing consistently everybody's getting fired up about football man thank the lord for spring football Clark. yeah thank it's the lord for spring taste. football I love it. A little glimmer of hope. I love it. People, you know, you you got your casual fans out there, Clark. Ah, spring football, G-Day, ah, you know, whatever. I mean, I I don't want to pay attention to that. I mean, you know, April's for for baseball or whatever. And and baseball's fine. Baseball's fine. But anytime you get football, it's a good time. And (laughs) and then especially it's amplified when it's collegiate football, Clark, Mm -hmm. and Georgia football. So uh, I've been uh, hanging on to just every bit of news I could I could hear about spring practice, how it's going, man. Count down the J- the days until April thirteenth, Clark, and uh, and G Day ramping up, man. I mean, it's it's uh, just like seeing a long lost friend. Yeah, it is. I can't wait for G Day, Adam. I'm uh, fired up, man. I mean, you know, it, the weather's been good up here in Northeast Georgia here yeah. the past couple of days. I mean, you know, old Mother Nature played a played a little bit of a trick on us. It was a little bit cold over the <laughs> yeah. weekend, right? Uh, wait, did it get uh, below freezing? Did it kill the peach? I don't, I don't, I don't know if it did. I don't know if it did or not. It did get a little bit blustery and chilly um, uh, last night as of the recording of this. But uh, hey, last week and then today, beautiful day, man. Beautiful yeah. day, kind of a spring day. You know, it makes you feel good. It makes you, you know, want to get outside, get some work done, and and just just puts you in a good mood. But to me, that just says, hey, we're getting to summer, and summer means we get to the dog days of summer where we're just we're just we're cussing the sun in the ninety degree heat. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not Especially a fan if you're of that. Up here. Yeah, not a fan of that whatsoever, and the humidity and whatnot. I mean, you know, and it's really, you know, you've never probably heard this before, Clark, living in the South, right? But it's not the heat; it's the humidity yeah never heard of that one before no, i've never, never heard, heard of that one. never heard of that one so yeah we're getting to that that season but that tells me we're getting closer and closer to august mm-hmm. and august means fall practice reports daily clark yep. and 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 really getting the, the preseason chatter going and then hey and then it's time to kick it off again man um very exciting SEC media days will be ramped up in July, so we're kind of we're kind of getting that time, man. You know, you you get the spring football, you kind of feel like you're starting the official next season, right, exactly. Clark? So, yep, yep. Um, kind of getting through them long, dark, dreary days of January and February and right. March, man. Getting on into April, I love it. Yeah, we love got a fun it. episode for y'all today. Uh, starting off with G Day, we'll talk yep. a little bit about that. That's what right. Kind of looking forward to there. Uh, spring practice, big news. Some good quotes I've heard from Kirby Smart. Some promising things. We'll talk about those. Uh, and just yep. spring practice in general. We're going to talk about, because we didn't do this last episode, and we should have, but we're, we're, we kind of saved it till now. We got a little bit more information on it. Yeah. yeah. NCAA football 25. Yes. God, I cannot wait. It's going to ah, be great. Oh, man. You know, I have a thing right now. I'm not playing any video games, like zero Xbox. And oh, yeah? That, you know, I mean, you're, I'm 27 years old. Most 27-year-olds have kind of given it up by now. But right. I'm going to tell you something. When this releases officially, I will get a new uh, console. We're gonna have to upgrade. Now, what Adam. kind of Xbox do you got? Does, got a, does your, do your Xbox not have a have a have the the option to get NCAA? NCAA I've got an Xbox One. Yeah, but I think you need a you need an even bigger, better version. Of no the way, Xbox. they're not gonna make one for the one then, huh? I think on certain issues <laughs> of the one, they'll have it, but. I don't think my specific Xbox ah, is going to be able to handle it because the graphics are going to be insane. Ah, yeah. So you're going to yeah. have to jump from what a PS3, a to PS3, a- the PlayStation 3 is the last console I bought. The last video game I bought for said PlayStation 3, Clark, was NCAA Football 2013. Mm. So 11 years ago is wow. the last time I've ver- I purchased a video yeah. game. And uh, yes, I will be upgrading to a new console as well good and we're gonna get into that because i need advice and wisdom do i stay <laughs> with playstation and go get what four five five now right it's yes five. Five. Yeah. so yeah i have to jump up a couple or do i switch over to xbox you know i've got I, an opinion we'll, we'll talk about that yeah. we'll talk about that but no i mean anybody especially of our age and a little bit older probably if you're about from the age frame clark of 25 i would say to 40 
Mm. 15 year gap right there. Wow, yeah. The memories you have of NCAA football from the early 2000s to 2013 right mm. there. And Sweet. that point in time in life, whether it was, you know, childhood and high school, college, whatever. Yeah, it, it, it's memorable. Yeah. It's memorable. And, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a trip down memory lane. I can't wait to get it. I don't mm -hmm. know when I'm ever going to play it. I guess I'm going to have to start ramping it up at 2 a.m. in the morning and play it. Yeah. You know, but we're, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But it's got me excited, Clark. Yeah, me too. Fired up about that. Uh, we'll talk about some NFL dogs, uh, some stuff happening in the NFL for our yeah. uh, former Georgia football players. And then, as of today, we just got the 2025 yes, schedule, sir. and there's going to be a lot of fun games on that. We'll talk about those. Uh, ESPN and college football playoffs towards the end, and we may touch on a couple other Georgia foot, uh, yeah. not Georgia football sports. That doesn't make any sense. Georgia sports. Yeah, the footprint. Of what's footprint. going on around yeah. uh, athletics. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah. The, footprint. the footprint. Well, let's start with G-Day. Right, Adam, you up, mentioned baby. this crank earlier. April 13th, Saturday, uh, we get a 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time kick. Yep. If you're not going, SEC Network Plus, ESPN yeah. Plus. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. So, uh, it should be um, a ESPN game because we're the king. You know, it yeah. should be prime time. Well, you know who's prime ESPN time, game. though? Alabama, right? Yep. Yeah, because of the DeBoer. Uh, yeah, whatever. Right? I mean, whatever. Ratings, whatever. right? Yeah, right, 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 right. Trying to see what's going to happen after after uh, Saban not being there. I wonder if, if DeBoer is going to wear a full suit like Saban used to do. Like, wow. you know, Saban looked like when he was at A-Day at the Crimson Tide games every year, he would wear something like, a seersucker jacket, like he was Easter Sunday, going to church on Easter Sunday, you know, about to go <laughs> That's hunt how eggs, they treat about it. to go, you know, yeah. go to Easter and then go get an egg hunt in with the grandchildren <laughs> afterwards, you know, on the front yard of the Baptist church over there. And I, I don't know, you know, I don't know what he, but, but, uh, but yeah, he, he so I wonder if DeBoer is going to keep that tradition going and wear a, a suit during. Well, more during power to him game. because, oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine how hot it's going to be in Alabama in about a month. Yeah. And Georgia, yeah. just the whole Southeast. Rich Beck, you don't know about this life, man. <laughs> you know of a different life yep. in which a lot of Southerners wouldn't be able to to take because it's freezing cold up mm -hmm. in Buffalo, New York all the time. But right. Anyway, but I digress. It's, it's one thing, too. That is a day before my anniversary, Clark. My six-year oh, yeah, anniversary is, yeah. with my wife. And uh, that's what we're doing for our anniversary. That's a good she's, way to celebrate. She's excited about that, as she should be. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to G-Day for our anniversary. Now, is Callie Ann making the trip? She is. Good. She is. She is. So, so yeah, this would be a... Yeah, two of two. Yeah, I have actually been informed by our good friend, the Easter Bunny. Oh. Peter Cottontail himself, Clark. Oh, okay. That there might be some attire that's going to be hopped up here in, in Cannon, Georgia, for, for Callie to don during, oh. the, uh, during the uh, during the G-Day. I like it. During the G-Day. Heard it through a little birdie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So. And we'll see. We'll see if that uh, if that um, comes to fruition or not. But <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited about that. That is the annual game right now that my daughter gets to go to. It's a spring game. You know, we're not quite there yet to take her to a more serious deal where, um, you know, that is a family game. She hadn't even got up to the age of to be able to attend family games yet. Yeah, this is yeah. a <laughs> I, I don't know what you would call the spring game, but very relaxed. Like even if George is playing. Um, I don't know if George is playing uh, Charlotte or somebody, you know, a, a, a no game, no no name team, UAB, whatever. I I still can't focus enough to be a parent, right? In right. Stands right. You're too focused on eighteen, nineteen year olds playing football on correct, the field. Correct, correct. I am, and I I, I can't <laughs> focus on what my daughter is doing during that time. Yeah. But the spring game, a um, little bit more relaxed, you sure. Know, and uh, it, that's always exciting. So yeah, I hope uh, everybody's going to be able to make it to Athens and uh, bring family with them, man. Hopefully, it's a beautiful day. No, last year was a beautiful day. It was hot, right. but uh, but it was a uh, it was a good day to be in Athens, man. I've always said this, and uh, my wife's always asked me, why don't we got to go to G Day? every year you know it's a, it's, it's a scrimmage you know it's georgia playing georgia and i said kills we only get football from labor day weekend until thanksgiving weekend and then with george being good enough a little bit sprinkled in you know a few game three games most time uh, after that and then after that there's no other georgia football saturday so if you mean to tell me i get an opportunity to go in sanford stadium and, and listen to some pads popping car and watch the dogs from january to september and it is one saturday out of that time from january to september i don't care if it is a scrimmage game i don't care if the quarterbacks are wearing black jerseys or whatever i don't care it doesn't matter if they're not returning kickoffs i'm going me too i will be in sanford stadium watching that baby absolutely as you should be adam Woo, yeah 
You know, people would man. think something's wrong. I think Kirby would think something wrong was wrong if you didn't show up to G Day. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, heaven forbid something happens that I, I couldn't be able to make it, but you know, if something's not. I'm going to be there. Yeah, I'm going to be there. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah. And I don't know about the Georgia baseball schedule that day, but it used Ooh. to be back in the past, man. You can make a great day out of it. That um, that Georgia would have a home series. Yeah. And uh, you could go to the G Day game, and then me, uh, go over to Foley Field and watch the dogs. And let me look that up right quick. Game. Let me yeah, look see, it up. See who they're playing. Georgia baseball, by the way, is 18 and four. We kind of had a reality check this past weekend. We got swept by right. Kentucky. Yeah, very much uh, so. All right, let's go down to April. We'll see. What, those pitching. We'll get there. Yeah, oh, we're playing Missouri April. at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So, uh, have they, yeah, it is a 3.30 first pitch. Mm-hmm. I was about to say kick. 3.30 kick. <laughs> but it's a 3.30 first pitch. So, yeah, that, that gives you time. Go watch the dogs, man. Might leave a little bit early from – from uh from G Day and head over to Foley Field mm-hmm. and watch uh watch Georgia versus Missouri. Mm. So yeah, fun I mean, day. you can make it a fun day in Athens yeah. with the family. And we need to announce this, Adam. Well, first of all, hold up. If you're coming to G Day, you want to come to G Day. Just understand that I think it's five dollars a ticket, and I believe you have to go on GeorgiaDogs.com to purchase said ticket. You don't get in free anymore. Yeah, man. Back in the day, you know, you used to just be a good canned food driver. Just like you said, right. get, get you a can of baked beans, you know, or some <laughs> some store-bought green beans or what, whatever your favorite Campbell's canned product is. Right? Sure. Or, grab you a little bit, man, stick it in the basket heading into the gates of Sanford Stadium. and You're in. You're, you're in. You're in. Yeah. And it's going to a good cost, too, right? right? You know, I mean, good good, um, good thing, man, to go to the food pantry like that. Yeah. But uh, but these days, those were uh, back in the old Rick Dare days, man, and – um. But yeah, these days you got to pay. You got to break out old Abe Lincoln. Yeah, and I got to break out an old five dollars. Like what? If it if, now listen, if this is going to Choa or a charity of some sort, I'm all for it. You know, but oh, I'm all about charity. But all about charity. Yeah, but I mm, if this is going back into the athletic program, first of all, it's five dollars a ticket really that much of a dent? You know, I mean, what, what is this paying for? Is my question right? Is this going to the the ladies' golf team, no no shade. I'm not trying to throw shade, but they probably don't generate the same amount of income as the football team. So well, yeah, my yeah, question is, say. that's safe to say. I mean, where is $5 a ticket going towards? I really hope it's to a charity. I really, really do. But. I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely not NIL because you can't go through the school right. with that, right? right? I mean, I would be all for it. Hey, like, hey let's, let's let's pay you about 20 bucks a ticket. If, mm-hmm. You know, we get an NIL donation or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. Um. It's crazy, but it just is what it is. Um, five dollars isn't gonna keep me from going to watch the dogs play. Me neither. So. Mm. <laughs> when is it ever? When is yeah. fifty dollars kept yeah. us from yeah. going to see the dogs play? Mm. Sometimes even $500. already saving up for Texas oh. right now. Yeah. Actually, I put some in my my um my savings pouch. Oh, you have a pa- like a you have cash in a pouch that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's the way to do it. Yeah. Like already, and it's labeled Thornton, Texas fund. Thornton, Texas fund. I like it. Yep. So, oh uh, yeah. There's something about saving cash as opposed to saving in your in a bank account and a savings account. It's it's a lot easier to move your money from point A to point B when it's all online. But when you have cash, you know it takes a little more effort to yeah. spend it. Sometimes I think, in yeah, my opinion, yeah, 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 yeah. somewhat, yeah. maybe not. <laughs> yeah, big purchases at least. That's right. Um, okay. Uh, last thing we want to mention about G Day. We said we we're going to do this. We're going to we're we going to do it. You know right. We're going to do it. We're going to have a row sixty tailgate. Whoa, man! Give me a boom, Adam. Boom. Whoa. So Absolutely. listen to this. Uh, the game is at one p.m. Right. Mm-hmm. So we'll probably get there. I'd say at about eleven a.m. Um, we'll have kind of you know just some snacks, just you know some drinks, that sort of thing. Uh, this is a kind of a BYOB. I don't know if anybody is going to be drinking. At 11 a.m., but hey, if you are, bring your own drinks. We'll Otherwise, have, we'll have, we'll some, have Coca-Cola's, some waters, Coca Cola, we'll Coca Cola's. <laughs> yeah, we're a Coke product. Yeah. We might throw in a Pepsi or two. Nah, no, 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 no. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, no, man. no, it's gonna be Coca Colas and waters. Coke Zeros. I'm a big Coke Zero advocate. Yeah. Really love. Might go to McDonald's get us a couple gallons of tea. Too, you know, <laughs> yeah. we'll um, do some Chick-fil-A small Diet thing lemonades. Foods. Good. And yeah. I really enjoy that. I, I, of course, love my Minute Maid lemonade as well. So yeah, I mean, it, it'll be a good little spread, and mm-hmm. in the sense of you know, just be able, just uh, just to be able to just to gather and fellowship. Sure. Uh, um, meet some people if we hadn't met, or just catching up with friends, man, and getting fired up is something we hadn't done yet in uh, row sixty history. So 
this is going to be kind of a, a soft launch. Sure. To do, right? Yeah. You like that? To yes. do something, a bigger production later on. Yep. Right? We're so. going to see how this one goes. So we're inviting you. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're a patron, if you're not, come see us. We will uh, just be on the lookout the week of G-Day, and we'll yeah. release some more details, some more information. But we're kind of planning about 11 a.m. And we're going to get your email after it. Get, take a paper with email after it and then uh, send you out a short survey to ask what we could do better for <laughs> yeah. the next experience. Right, Clark? No, that <laughs> actually might be a good idea. That's great, Adam. Oh, oh good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, but I love it, man. I love we it. We hope man. to see y'all. I'm, I'm ready to just get back in the swing of it, man. Me too. Me too. It's going to be a fun day, G Day. Once again, mm. April 13th, Saturday. If you're coming, come see us. Please do. We will. Please do. Once again, we'll we'll say on Facebook, we'll probably uh, announce it on Instagram too. More of an official thing the week of. But, you know, if you're around, come see us. We'll have a great time. That's right. And uh, we'll have to catch up. So, Let's uh, talk about spring practice, Adam. Yeah, man. It's full yeah. swing. God. Well, I think, I think as of right now, there's there have been four or five practices already. So yeah, some good information well, coming out. What have you been hearing? Well, let me ask you this first, Clark. Before we dive into the information that's uh that's, that's happening right now on the practice fields in Athens, what's your feeling going into the spring? So we're kind of put 2023 behind us now, right? Um, it's kind of gotten through the. All the off-season stuff with that kind of in a sense of, you know, that initial right after the season. Um, first time in a couple of years you're not national champions, right? And, That's a blessing uh, to say that, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it is. It is. You know, I'm not complaining about it at all, but it's a different feel right now. Mm -hmm. So going into this season – Where's your mo? Are you are you fired up about it? Oh, yeah. Are you are you feeling like this is a national championship football team? Uh, like where are you at? I just want to know where's your head at going into yeah. it right now. Kind of you know coming off of the Orange Bowl, the SEC champ, all that stuff, and and what you know going into the spring. I think if we're all honest with ourselves, we we are still a little deflated from what happened December second or third. I don't even remember the day of it. SEC championship, right? Right. Still a little deflated from that. But what I saw in the Orange Bowl, and and I know, I mean, we've we've this is a dead horse. We we're beating a dead horse here when we, we keep talking about this. But what I saw in the Orange Bowl was that this team, this upcoming team, is hungry still. Right, right, right. And, then right, they, right. and it's just like the message was uh, in tw going into 2022, 2022 season. Um, you know, we just came off a national championship win. Now it's a little bit different, but this team like the 2022 team, has its own identity, right? And, right. Um, they've got something to prove. These younger guys, the freshmen last year, they didn't win a national championship. They're hungry for that. The guys who did were, you know, they were in SoFi Stadium that night and did experience that national championship, they want another. Right. Carson Beck, he wants one. His own, right? that's right. He wants his own. He wants to prove. And so I think there's a lot. What I'm saying is there's a lot to prove still. And I know, you know, I mean, we, we, we're – coming off two national championships, but, man, like, there's there's still a lot to prove, and I think this team's really hungry. I like our odds this year. I mean, who doesn't? Vegas loves yeah, it. Yeah. Um, we've got a really good football team, all si you know, both sides of the both sides of the field, and um, I'm excited. I, I, I think there's a lot going for this team. Yeah, it's exciting, Clark. Um, you know, you talked about that. We have beat like a dead horse about it. What what happened? Not not winning a third straight last year, and you get in the Orange Bowl and you see what Georgia did to Florida State, even Florida State with the opt outs, and you're like, man, you know, we could have beat Michigan in the national championship. All this, of course, but to me, the biggest thing about that game, Clark, was it shows there's not a culture in America. That's like what Kirby Smart has, right? To get up for that game, do what you did, and then that's what the excitement is going forward. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're losing your Big key cogs that you had during those title runs. Of course, you didn't have Stetson Bennett last year, but you're losing Lab McConkey, Brock Bowers, um, Javon Bullard. You know some of those guys, man. The um, that really were were big players and leaders in the two national championship runs, but you have some younger guys who are in a part of that, and it's their time now, their mm -hmm. time to shine, man. And you look the talent. There, there's no there's no doubt, Clark, that. The talent is there, man. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, you've lost some coaches. Uh, you know, you, you have Del McGee, a, a staple during Kirby's tenure. You, I liked your episode, by the way. Your, your <laughs> shorts for that. I haven't been able to touch on it um, in front of the camera with anybody about uh, Del McGee leaving and um, and also Brian McClendon going to the NFL. But you get James mm -hmm. Coley in and, uh, and, and some of those guys. So, you, 
and Javarius Robinson and Will Muschamp kind of going behind the scenes a little bit more. Does that concern you at all, Clark? No. With Muschamp taking a step back at all? No, I trust Kirby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I and and you know, I. I, I hmm. I, I, can, I guess there's a little hesitancy. It's like, uh, uh, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I do think Del McGee, Brian McClendon, those guys, amazing, amazing at Georgia. But I trust Kirby. Yeah. I fully trust his plan. I, and I think, you know, there may be some kinks we got to work out still and, and catch coaches up to speed. You know, I think a lot of times we talk about players getting them caught up to speed yeah. during the spring. But now we got to kind of catch – players and coaches that's up, right you know? that's right and that's something he said with josh payton and it's just something that the attention to the detail that kirby has but i think with t rob coming in i think t rob is highly regarded bright future with him man and uh somebody that you have and i understand why will Muschamp is kind of he's not leaving the program yeah, so he's still yeah. going to contribute and be a big part of defensive game plan and, and also being able to prepare for future opponents as well when uh, T. Rob and Schumann are preparing for the next week opponent mm-hmm. or or uh or whatever so i think uh I think this new blood in Athens is is somebody, this guy who's going to be up to the standard. And I mean, Kirby wouldn't hire him if they didn't have that potential and that pedigree. So yeah. uh, I'm not. It's going to just be. It's, it feels different going in this year, Clark, because you have some changes like that, and I think the unknown of the conference changing. Mm. The for the first time in my lifetime, Clark. You don't have an East and a West SEC yeah. division. You're not playing the tradition. I mean, yeah, you still got a majority of your traditional rival opponents on the schedule, but it's a whole different structure. Mm-hmm. You get Clemson to open it up, man. Ooh. I mean, what are they going to be like? What are they going to be like? A lot of question marks there, man. And then you go into the 12 team playoff. So I think the uncertainty is is like, man, you know, it kind of leaves you some doubt. Like, what, what in the world is going to happen, man? It's such a long schedule. I hope the injury bug doesn't bite us like it did last year. And, uh, and then just that whole excitement has – the nervousness of that has created such an excitement. I do not think I've ever been more excited about a football season, Clark. Mm. And I say this every year because I just I love each and every <laughs> one of them. But because of that, because even the ESPN SEC primetime games are now going to be at night. Yes, at night. Gosh. And, I mean, Texas, Oklahoma in the league, the 12-team playoff. I mean, so much just newness, that stuff that we, we have got grown accustomed to that's no longer there. And uh, it's finally here. You know, we talked years about this stuff coming down the pipe, and it's all hitting at once, man. Yeah. And um, I and there's no better captain to ride the ship than Kirby Smart, man. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm excited about it. Yes, I think Georgia has one of the two most talented rosters in the nation. Ohio State obviously has brought in a lot with the transfer portal. Yeah. Looks on paper like they should be the overwhelming favorite to win the national championship, but. How's that coach staff going to be with Chip Kelly and Ryan Day? And, I mean, they haven't proved it yet. Ryan Day hasn't yeah. proved that he can win the big one. And uh, I don't know how they're all going to gel, how that's all going to work out, because I'm sure there's some big NIL pledges in that locker room in Columbus. And uh, we've got a lot of time to talk about that, but just kind of just kind of seeing where the mindset is right mm-hmm. now, because all eyes are pointed towards the fall of 2024 and kickoff and Labor Day weekend in college oh, yeah. football. It's going to be fun. Uh, spring practice, a couple of quotes here. I say a couple. It's more like four. Yeah. I thought these are – all really interesting. Let me start with the Kirby quotes, all right? Kirby Smart on center Jared Wilson. He said this, I think, yesterday as, as of the recording of this. He has a lot to do to be the best player that he can be, but when it comes to athleticism, there aren't many people like him. He runs faster than a lot of our DBs. This yeah. is talking about Jared Wilson, new center, uh, taking the place of Cedric Van Pran. Big Hurdle. shoes to fill. Yeah, really big shoes big to shoes fill. Big figuratively and literally. <laughs> yeah. So um, that that's exciting to hear. Um, I'd love to see, man. I'd love to see Jared Wilson against. Hmm, let's see. I don't want to say Malachi. Surely couldn't beat Mal- Malachi. Maybe Dalen Everett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Who would win a race? Do. I don't know, man. I mean, that's amazing. That <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, that's some high praise right there on uh, his ability, man, and, and and being on the line and being uh, from what I am told to be successful. I mean, you got to have quick feet and good footwork. Oh, do you, Adam? That's what I hear. Oh, that's yeah, good. Oh, good, good footwork, man. You know. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so that that's good to hear. Is that what Stacy's telling you? That's what, yeah. That's what Stacy Cereals has been telling yeah, me man. when we when we uh, when we have our weekly debriefings. Where at in Athens? In Athens, yeah, at yeah, the Raising Canes. Raising Canes, yeah, the Raisin oh, okay. Canes chickens. Over the box combo. Inside information, yeah, over yeah. the box con. The Caniac, actually, Clark. What? Wait, is it? What's the difference between the Caniac and the box con? One extra chicken finger, man. That's it. Five instead of four. So do you get? No slaw, extra fries. You dang you right. Get, yeah. Or, I don't know, extra toast maybe sometimes, yeah. too. You yeah. mean, you just can't beat Guthrie's and Canyon's chicken. Superior to Zaxby's. Wow. Superior to Chick-fil-A. Ooh. 
Mm, are we talking about chicken fingers here? Yeah, yeah, chicken and fries. Uh, ooh, that's tough, Adam. Oh yeah, yeah. I do like Kane's toast. Mm. It's very good. Anyway, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I, I our offense is going to be explosive this year. When you think oh about the gosh. wide receiver room, Clark, mm. when you got a big body, you know we talked about this, man. We want to see just that big guy that you can line out in the perimeter and get up and go get a jump ball, man. Colby Young. Yeah, the transfer coming in from Miami. Yep. Uh, they say he's even bigger than than what you would think on paper. Yeah, I mean, right. you don't hear that. You don't hear that he says he is bigger than what he says on paper. You never hear that. Yeah. Right? it's always paper. They're gonna they're gonna give him a couple, a couple of inches, yeah. and you see him in person. Like, ah, I don't know if that guy's really six four or not. You know uh, mm-hmm. that type deal. And um, you got Ra Ra Thomas coming back, Clark. You got Dominic Lovett. You got Arian Smith who is coming in. Probably gonna be more confident and and excited to see what he does, man. And then you got the guy who I think is going to be the biggest weapon on Georgia's offense, and that's Mr. Dylan Bell. Adam, I was on a phone call with a with a patron last night, yep, McKay yep. Smith, yep. old college roommate, mm-hmm. and I told him Dylan Bell very well could be one of the top three receivers in the nation this year. Yeah, well, me and another patron, Logan Waldrop, were talking about that today. Oh, really? Yes, he was talking about Dylan Bell, and I was like, yes, I completely he's agree. He's a freak. Well, he's a freak, man. I mean, you think about the guys and Anthony Evans. Yep. You know, and London Humphreys. And London Humphreys. All SEC. What's he yeah, do, I mean, man? he was at Vandy, but you know? God, y'all. I mean, he's 6'2. He runs like a 10, 100 meter. Yeah. Yeah. Which is I really fast. What's the name of the receiver from USC? Michael, Michael uh, Jackson. Michael Jackson. Third. That's right. Yeah, that's right. No, that's right. Michael Jackson. So you got, I mean, James Coley's room is going to be phenomenal in there, man. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not Brian McClendon anymore. Coley, I think, was a great recruiter for us, and I think he was a fine wide receiver coach when he was at that, that spot. Yeah. So, you trust Kirby and that, man, and just see what happens. But the talent is there. Very exciting. A lot of weapons for Carson Beck to get the ball to. And I think the biggest thing for the whole team, for Georgia, period, man, is a guy coming back second year starting. The confidence Carson Beck has now after what he did last year and his God-given ability to play the quarterback position is going to take him to another level, Clark. Yeah, well, and, and I kind of liken it to what Stetson was in 2021. And Stetson played well in 21, his first true year starting and really didn't even play the – you know, he didn't start the full year. You got a bunch of snaps in 20. Yeah, did, I, I yeah. guess what I mean is like, you know, yeah, true yeah, yeah. first year, you're he, the guy kind of thing. And then yeah, that jump the- from twenty one to twenty two, it's yeah. like it's like he turned the switch. Well, and and I think that's what Carson's going to do this year. I think Carson played much better than Stetson did his first year. Truly, you know, twenty one. Yeah. Um, I, I I think there's just going to be another big jump for Carson though. Well, what's the what is the what is the common themes Clark and national championship teams in college football? Good defense. Good, good defensive line. I mean, good defense overall, but really a dominant defensive line. Clark. Sure. And yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll say Michigan had a good defensive line this yep. year. And then a very experienced quarterback who's not going to get you beat. And, I mean, J.J. McCarthy's that. Now, do I think he is as good as where they're projecting him to go in the NFL draft? I don't see it. McCarthy, J.J. McCarthy. Yeah. But, you know – the experts say they do, and we'll see. But he was a he was a good college quarterback, and he might have been a game man or whatever. But he won, and that's the type of quarterback that you got to have as somebody who's experienced and not going to get you beaten. That's what Carson Beck will be next year, Clark. Yeah. So the recipe of what a national championship quarterback looks like, what we've seen for years and years and years, but not many exceptions thrown in that for decades now, is a quarterback coming in, multi-year experience, very talented mm-hmm. First round draft pick, like I think Carson Beck will be, man. Yeah. It's just icing on the cake, and um, I mean it's there. Yep. It's there. Uh, can't I, 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 you can't have him go down though. No, well, I think the, not, the whole talk season. Talk, yeah, I agree. Not talk, <laughs> knock on wood. Depends on uh, number 15's health. I feel like. I mean, Stockton will be fine. Yeah, he's a gamer, right? Yeah, he is. But, he is. Um, you know. Yeah, we want to we want to keep number fifteen uh, well protected. Uh, we're talking a lot about offense. Another quote comes from Oscar Delp, and this is about the tight end room. You know, I mean, this yeah. is one of the – I don't know if people are necessarily concerned, but it's like, man, how do you feel Brock Bauer's shoes? You don't. I don't think you do. You don't. So Pete. this is what Oscar Delp had to say on the matter. The coaches aren't treating us any different, and we're doing the same things we did in the previous seasons and what they've been telling us since we got here. We've just got to keep making plays and doing the things we know we're capable of, and all the coaches know we're capable of also. I think it's going to be pretty much the same. We're a passing offense, and they like the tight ends a lot. We're going to do a lot of 12 personnel, hopefully, this year and continue that. So, yeah. And you look at a guy like Oscar, you know, 
you, you, you're like, wait a minute, he's a junior? Yeah, this is his That's third year. It, it, it yeah, is. It is. Yeah. But think about the tight ends he's he's, he's been able to uh, kind of learn from and play behind and play with. You know, mm-hmm. first year was Darnell Washington. Um, and also, you know, the, that Brock Bowers guy. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. Remember him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. He made a play. I think he's number two, 19. Didn't he? Yeah, something like that. I think like I remember that. him doing something. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Oscar, man. Time or two, maybe. Yeah. He's got, I think, a lot of potential. And, you know, he's a very tough guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and mm-hmm. uh, it seems like a good leader for this tight end room. This I year. think so too, Clark. And I think what you're going to see is guys like Lawson Lucky and Oscar Dill realize how talented they are. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, the thing though you cannot do, Clark, is compare them to Brock Bowers. No, you can't do it. You can't do it. But I think Georgia's had the most talented tight end room in America for a while now. And obviously, number 19 was a big part of that. But I think even if you take number 19 out, there's still the most talented room <laughs> yeah. in America. And that's the recruiting of Todd Hartley, man. Mm-hmm. You come to Georgia and you want to get the NFL to play tight end, man. You look at the tight ends in the lead that Georgia has had. I mean, Eli Wolf. You remember yeah, Eli Wolf? I remember Tennessee him. transfer. Mm-hmm. You remember um, – McKitty. But Trey McKitty. Mm-hmm. Trey McKitty's still in the league. Charlie Warner. Yep. And uh, I think Nalda didn't – he's not in the league He didn't anymore. pan out. He didn't no, pan out in the league. Played. But, you know, then you got big uh, Darnell Washington, man. In the league. So, I mean, you, you look at the guys who have come, and I think that trend is going to continue. We're going to get solid play. I think Delp is going to play with a chip on his shoulder, Clark. I mm-hmm. think there are some times – Last year that he might have got some criticism with some drops and some stuff, man. And I think uh, the talent he has is going to be great. He's going to be the leader in there, Lawson Lucky. And uh, I hated about Pierce Spearland and yeah. uh, the, the the news of the medical retirement. But thank the Lord, man, and uh, an and answer to prayer that they were able to catch that early before something mm-hmm. happened on the field that could have been catastrophic. Right, right Clark? Right. So uh, you hate that, but I'm sure that young man has a great future ahead of him, man. And uh, and glad they could catch that. But um, the recruiting has been solid there. Transfers coming in. Um, um, going to be another good good tight end room. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I think as long as Todd Hart was in that room, and uh, it, I, I'll never worry about the tight end position, Clark. Yep. Uh, last but not least, on spring practice, and uh, obviously there's going to be <laughs> there will be more news things quotes that come out between now and the release. And you got to think about it. We don't ever get any news because no, we're is- not we're not an insider in in practice. Mm-hmm. We don't go to practice, and the people who get paid to do it for a living who work for these these recruiting services or, you know, message boards, the 247s, the um, on-threes, rivals, what have you, wherever you get your information from, or Twitter beat writers, they get a very limited amount of practice they could watch themselves, oh, yeah. even in the spring. Mm-hmm. That's like a 10-minute window, Clark? They get, in, uh, they get like a turnover period at practice, yeah. which yeah. is essentially – you get zero information. You may mm-hmm. get to see, oh, there's so-and-so out there, and you get their picture, but like – they, it's not like they're running indie drills or they're running uh, good on good. Like you just don't get that. Yeah. It's, it's always been that way uh, ever since Kirby's Honestly, gotten there. Man, your best shot at inside information is McGill Society, big time donors who are friends <laughs> yeah. with these coaches or get to go to these practices, mm-hmm. or, or especially when the fall scrimmages kick off and they have it just open to McGill Society. Yeah, folks, you know, um, in August when that cranks up, that's that's kind of where your leaks come from. Mm-hmm. I feel like, but but yeah, so uh, just how Kirby runs it, and I love it, man. I mean, yeah. hey. But no, but stuff that has leaked out has been very exciting, like what we thought. Uh, no, just huge surprises yet. But mm-hmm. I mean, everybody, I mean, just a lot of talent running around the field. Yeah. Um, last quote from Kirby here about spring practice uh, on the inside linebacker room. Here's what he said mm. Young, that's the first impression. Raylan, talking about Raylan Wilson and CJ Allen, are ahead in terms of playing time than a second spring player because this is their s- second spring at Georgia, right? Um, So in a perfect world, we would like these guys to be coming into playing time. You know, this year, that's not the case. They got thrust into it last year and had to learn kind of by trial trial by fire. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did, man. Um, C.J. Allen, Clark, we talked about him. The progression you saw him when he came in the back part of the year, especially in the Orange Bowl, he'll be the next great one. Yeah, he will. I think. I think he will be. I mean, he's kind of got that Nicobe Dean, Roquan. I hate to just, oh, you know, have to compare him to that. But truly, I think he will be in that talk by his time, when his time's done at Georgia. Mm-hmm. And uh, Raylan Wilson's another special talent. Yeah. And then you got Smile Mondin. Yeah. Who is, well, uh, we keep still forgetting there. about him. I mean, you know, and yeah. he'll, he'll be a guy, he'll be the leader in that room, I would imagine. And a lot of very young, talented guys behind him. Yeah. All right. 
NCAA football 25. Well, you want to go on that, or is there any other positions you want to talk about real quick? Mm. You just think, uh, you let's did. just skim through a little bit of the DBs, just real quick, real quick. Okay. I got excited, Clark. I got to talk <laughs> about it. What do you think? Ellis Robinson at cornerback, Dalen Everett at the other cornerback. Do you think Ellis Robinson starts from day one? I don't spring? know. You know, I don't know. What do you think about safeties? KJ Bolden and Malachi Starks. Ooh, that'd and then, be a, uh, that'd be a killer tandem. Jonah right Aguaro, is that how you pronounce yeah. Aguaro at the at the star? And you know, you got Pope, Jake Pope, young guy coming mm-hmm. in. Man, you got Dan Jackson hey, with the leadership. Dirty Dan. Another good group where you have just good veteran guys who's been there, done that, man. And then the talented guys. Malachi Starks, obviously, I think is going to have another phenomenal last season at Georgia. And it's another special talent you need to enjoy playing every Saturday because you don't see many guys like him come around often. So seeing him, man, and uh, we'll see a lot of good defensive line stuff. come. We'll we'll dive deeper into that as it progresses and what we see in the spring. But uh, outside linebacker play is going to be big. Um, Damon Wilson, Mm -hmm. I think, is going to be a name to watch out for. Yeah. You know, uh, Jalen Walker Clark, I think he's going to eat and be a guy. I mean, a lot of good, a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff to to, to dive into Mm -hmm. later on. But yeah, yeah, I'm ready to talk about the video game, too. Uh, yeah. So y'all supposed to be talking about Georgia football, not video games on this. But no, <laughs> hey, we're talking about video is, games right now. This Georgia we're football. We're in March. Georgia, we're in March. Georgia football is related to this. So you dang right um, it is. EA released a trailer, I think about a month ago, um, back in February. It was awesome. If you haven't seen it, you just need to go look it up on YouTube. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to upgrade our consoles, Adam. And, yeah, uh, I think. Yeah. I, I you know I've always been an Xbox guy. I have been have from you? day one. And yeah. You've been a PlayStation guy from day one. Yeah, I think I have. you need to stick with PlayStation. PlayStation is widely accepted as qu- kind of the the superior uh, it, gaming console. Is it? Okay. I like Xbox. There's right. several games on it that you can't or that you get exclusively on Xbox and you can't uh, for for PlayStation. So okay, okay, um, that's so, neat. You know, but other than that. I'd probably stick with PlayStation. I think it's all about the controller. You yeah, know? yeah. I mean, I don't know the Xbox. And I, I, yeah, of course, when I was younger, I played a good, good bit of PlayStation. Um, like I said, the last video game I bought was the last NCAA football game that came out over a decade ago. So I'm a little rusty <laughs> when it comes to playing with the sticks a little bit, Clark. But yeah. you best believe I'll be diving into this, man. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I am uh, ready to, 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 to buy whatever I have to. To play this football game, Clark, yeah, and to get my dynasty going. Yeah. Speaking of, we need to get a dynasty league. Grow 60 dynasty league. Oh, yeah. Everybody who listens is invited. I've never played online, so you're going to have to get me set up. Oh, yeah. To do that. I've never done an online deal. We got some good Wi Fi here now at the shop. You got fiber, mm-hmm. so you'll have so some light and quick. Yeah. Uh, with the Adam. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Dynasty League for Row 60. Oh, it's going to be. We're going to get a trophy for that. You know, we have one for the Row 60 Pick'em League. Hey, yeah. shout out to Trey McKay. We're going to have to get him on the show yeah. uh, here soon. He he won last year's – I don't know if we ever mentioned oh, yeah. that. But anyway, uh, yeah, we're we going to have to get a trophy for the Dynasty League. Also, let me just say real quick, we didn't mention this last episode. We need to, man. Um, go visit our good friends at Peach State Pride. Yeah. Spring coming out, a lot of good spring clothing. Easter coming up, man, and uh, just just a lot of spring. Time to update the wardrobe a little bit, Clark, <laughs> and represent the state of Georgia, especially the University of Georgia, to have that too. A hat, good good hat for your late days coming up or, or pool days or whatever, cutting grass. Um, get you a good classic Georgia Peach State Pride hat, shirt, anything. Uh, go visit them, get geared up for the fall, and uh, PeachStatePride.com and stores in Hartwell, Georgia, and Watkinsville, Georgia, mm-hmm. and Athens, Georgia. I feel like they have another location down south. I could be wrong, but or maybe they're thinking about it. They should. I don't know. Don't. Go visit yeah. PeaceStatePride.com. Yes, sir. Uh, Sorry, I had to do that in the middle. Before. No, that's good. Uh, NCAA, going back to this, yes. the game. Got to. So we got to Kirk. We got okay. Kirk Herb Street. We got yeah. Chris Fowler. We got Jesse Palmer. And here's what I find really interesting. They got David Pollock. Where did that come from? I, here's my theory. What's your theory? I could be wrong on this, but David, you know, they've been making this. They've got to make this video game. They have been making this since I think about 2021. Yeah, right. And so Pollock was already Pollock was uh, still with ESPN, and so uh, it's kind of like you know once got they got started, in that kind of yep. if you will, then mm-hmm. Clara. Okay, uh, now is 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 um Gus Johnson going to be oh, for the that Big would Ten be for the Fox? Amazing. Now, I really thought I heard like Joel Klatt and Gus Johnson I for like Big Ten games, Klatt. but like Big Ten You're games right, right. Uh, on the Dynasty <sighs> mode, like Fox. Is I thought there was going to be an affiliate. I could be completely wrong on this. I, I but wish. it's like the whole spectrum. I have not heard those two names. The, the only four I've definitely heard are Kirk, 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 Chris, Jesse, and David. 
Man, that's amazing then. So, and uh, yeah, I mean, could you imagine though? Oh. Maserati. Oh my gosh, I keep saying McKay's name. McKay has the best Gus Johnson impersonation yeah. I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Maserati Marvin. Oh yeah, he, oh man, he's, Saquon he's, Barkley. He is awful to listen to. Awful you don't like Gus to. Johnson? I'm not a Gus Johnson. I'm not a. I'm not a. I'm not a. A Fox team. I mean, I'm not mm-hmm. either. But Gus Johnson. Oh man. I don't oh no, no. Nah, nah. When he kept calling Maserati Marvin, when I think it was a Penn State Ohio State game last year when Georgia was off, I sat there and I watched every snap of it. And I was like, this. I can't listen to this. Wow. Guy. Can't do it. Sorry. Sorry. Not a You're big, about one not of the a big only Gus people. Johnson guy. I'm. A, I'm a. I am a. Um. Sean McDonough, Todd Blackledge guy. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. I that's think that's the best combination out there. And then, mm-hmm. of course, I, I feel like Kirk and Chris Fowler are good, too. Yeah. But, um, oh, wait but a minute. We need to open up a can of worms about Scott Howard. If we're talking about common. Oh, my court. You just, what about Scott Howard now? What are you doing? We're going to talk about a video game. I know. Heard, well, we're talking about com- like you know color, yeah, commentating, yeah, yeah, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, that we are. That Maybe we are. I shouldn't. I'll, nah, I'll save it for another close day. It, close it and open it up back later. I'll save too. it for another day. I was, I was, what I was about to say, I'll, I'll uh, condense this really quickly. I was going to say Chris Fowler has had much better uh, calls for these Georgia National Championships, you know, the Peach Bowl yeah, games. I'd agree. Than our own radio guy. Yeah. 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 And I don't think many people, <laughs> many people would disagree with me on that. I don't know, man. They might, but I agree with you on that, especially the Keely Ringo one. Um, <sighs> Uh, well, I, mean, I, I get chills when defense. I listen to Fowler's, you know. Yeah. And um, I mean, still, I was just good, but yeah. I mean, you know, mm. I'm just trying to car. I'm just trying to, you know, just, know, just glass half full right I know, here. But uh, but that's a heck of a lineup, man. Because I mean, it used to be back in the day, it was old Brad Nestler and uh, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Yeah. Just just vague commentary, right? Yeah. And it so, got I, mean, old. I can't wait to see how in depth this will be. Mm-hmm. Uh, all 134 FBS programs are in the game. That's that's good, including oh, that's Notre awesome. Dame. Notre Dame was trying to that's awesome. get out of it and you know make more money, or I'm sure. But yeah, uh, we we'll get all Ridiculous. all th- 134 FBS teams. I think FCS teams are are eventually they will be in the game. Oh, but that's awesome. not initially. I'm excited about it, Clark. Yeah. Uh, so you're still gonna have to play like your, your cupcake to open up on the dice. It's gonna be <laughs> yeah. FCS Southeast or something like the, <laughs> yeah. the Rattlers. Or right. Something. Right. <clears throat> but uh, but initially, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's gonna be weird this year for me? Like what? every time I would, <clears throat> excuse me, Clark. Mm. Every time that I would get in the game, I would start a dynasty with Georgia. I would uh-huh. win a national championship with Georgia. And you got to think this is, you know, I mean, years ago, over a decade ago. So I'd win a national championship. Be like, man, I wonder what that's like in real life. <laughs> yeah. And you see the confetti falling yeah, in the like, generic. Oh my gosh! Can you believe trophy? what would it look like if Mark Rick was holding up one of these? You know, <laughs> and uh, now you've experienced it, mm-hmm. and you've you've lived it in real life. So I'm still going to do it for tradition's sake. Sure. Win a national championship with Jordan's like ah. I think that night in Indianapolis and Los Angeles was a little bit better than this. A little, Just a little bit, bit more better. sweeter than this, but it'll still be cool. And then you know what I'm going to do? Who? What? Are, who are you going to start another <clears throat> dynasty with? My first team. I'm I'm between two. Okay. All right, of course, just do a quick season with Georgia. Sure, yeah, yeah. You know, get out of the way. Get that out of the way. Yeah, but you got to. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But then you got to go somewhere else. A little bit more challenging, right? Right. I'm going to go to the Sun Belt. Oh. And I'm going with Appalachian State or Coastal Carolina. Ooh, I haven't decided between yeah. the two, yeah. but I'm going to take over one of those programs, get my at large spot in the 12 team playoff, and cause havoc. Adam, that will be. Dang, hey, you those think are two about that. good teams. You think yeah. about that though, that twelve team playoff in in NCAA, what well, mm-hmm. that's gonna be like, man. And like you you get a group of five team and you can realistically like it, it would be kind of real life because the highest group of five team will sneak into that right. last seed, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, you know, back in the day when you would used to try to take like Florida Atlantic to a national championship, you'd eventually could get them there. Yeah, you get but well, you get it's snubbed. Like, uh, yeah, you get you'd be BCS, undefeated. Yeah. You would create a custom schedule or something. Yeah. You would it get snubbed at the end. That's right. And get bumped to number three and go to the Orange Bowl instead a two of the low, A two-loss Oklahoma would jump you. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Just something stupid. Stupid. The BCS was but, Yeah, but I, that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be my team, Clark. That's going to be my team. Uh, I got to go with the either the Rainbow Warriors or the Idaho oh, Vandals. Vandals, that's it. And I love the Kibby Dome. Yeah, I do too because it's not like a it's a it's a square box. It's, yeah, like, it's, a, very, it's like they play in a warehouse. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like it's very intimate too. Yeah, it's like yeah, you know, it is. Intimate, it's like man, it you, is, you just really like, connect you with like, the fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's probably heated because I imagine it gets yeah. cold in Idaho. You know, kind of if you've never seen where the Idaho Vandals play, Google it. 
Kibby Dome. Kibby Dome. K-I-B-B-I-E Dome. Great name, great yeah. atmosphere. I like that, Clark. Yeah. That'd be good. That'd be good. I really like the colors, but I mean, yeah. the, you know, they're they're a crap team. And, and also another thing is they're independent. Yeah. So you don't necessarily have to do custom schedules. Because what I like to do is I like to play, you know, like three SEC teams, three ACC teams. Yeah, three, that's right. That's what used right. to be Pac-12 teams. That's so, right. Um, I like you can do that. It up. That's good. That's good. What do you think the recruiting is going to be? Do you think there's going to be big NIL deals? Like you could give X a Mercedes Benz come play <laughs> yeah. in Conway, South Carolina for the Coastal <laughs> Carolina Chanticleers. Right. How I did mean, you know that Coastal Carolina is in Conway, South right Carolina? Right outside Myrtle Beach, baby. It's unreal. That's, it's, uh, I mean, or can I, like, say, try to offer – Malachi starts five point five million to leave Athens <laughs> to come to Coastal Carolina. Like, yeah, I don't know. How like, how, how, can I? Can I tamper? Am I going to be able to tamper with Kurt? <laughs> I hope I can. And, that would be and, amazing. And if you do Wouldn't tamper, that be amazing? and that if be you amazing? do tamper, like, what if the NCAA comes and gets you and, and bans you? They for, don't do that anymore. You, I, you used you, to get I, back in two thousand six. Yeah. Yes, that was the best one ever. Yeah. Was two thousand six oh, on the PlayStation man. Two, man. That one, you would get loose scholarships for something <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Like your receiver didn't go to class. Right. Or take his final exam and it'd just yeah. pop up out of nowhere. And yeah. I remember a young eighth grade Adam <laughs> would be so frustrated at the infractions that I got on NCAA football. Man, that was a great game. But then they took all that stuff off. Yeah. But yeah, the question is um, are you going to get like a random holding penalty you have no control of in the middle of a game? Probably. I mean, it's an. I, it's realistic, I guess, in yeah, a sense, yeah. but in the same way, those are incredible. I'm excited about it, man. Yeah. All right, now, are you going to uh, do your AI sliders? No, 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 no. no, no. no. I never Make do. Them, no. Now, the only no. person I know, God, this is, I need a McKay counter this this time. McKay's my best friend, y'all. He's a patron. He listens to, listens to his show, but I'm going to roast him for a second. He goes on the road to glory. He'll create a player because, you know, you, you can create a player and then you can actually adjust his sliders. He'll, yeah. he'll crank them up all the way to 99, yeah. play on freshmen, score 12 touchdowns a yeah. game. No fun right there, man. No, no challenge. Got to no play fun. on All-American. Yeah. Got to play at on All-American. At least All-American. Well, that's the thing, man, because you got to be – you got to get your dynasty where you have some three and nine seasons. Yeah. And you're on the cusp of getting axed. <laughs> right. Where your job security bar is in the red. D minus. And then yeah. have a redemption story. <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Which I don't know, man. I might start off as a defensive coordinator at like a conference USA there squad at Western Kentucky, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then work my way up yeah, the ladder. Yes. Maybe go to a Sun Belt job, and then go. You know, I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless. Now, I don't know when I'm going to have the time to do all this. Like <laughs> I said, it will be that if I have to plug in with everything I got going on from sunset, sunrise to sunset, it will be at like 1:30, 2 a.m. where I will yeah. be playing this game. But I will just not sleep. I will be playing this football game. You know when you'll be playing it is uh, what's uh, August 29th because we play August 30th. That's Clemson, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. You, that, that's what's going to happen. You're just going to get giddy. I'm going to play it all gonna, night. You're going to get yeah. all night. Well, all, I mean July. That's what's going to help us get through July and on into is the excitement of that game coming out and a row sixty dynasty. League. Oh man, it's going to be awesome. Can you play though? My question, and I'm sorry for people who are not into this. I'm sorry. You're just going to we're going to have to geek out on it because. NCAA football is a staple, man. And I don't think a majority of people, especially in our generation who love college football, know exactly what we're talking about when we're talking mm -hmm. about this football game, Clark. But, I, I, you know, can you play, like, if you have an Xbox and I have a PlayStation, can we play cross-platform? Yes. Really? Yes. That's that amazing. is a thing now. Yep. Oh, my gosh. So, that's crazy. And that's good. That's good news because if you've got an Xbox like me, we can play against Adam. Yeah, yeah, Adam, we're going. It's going to get competitive. Oh, it's going to get great. It's going. Yeah. It's going to get great. All right, all right, all right. It's third. Okay, it's third and seven. All right, third mm. and seven. You you got to have a first down late in the fourth quarter. You're scoring to go up, right? Yeah. You know you're you're in the opponent's territory on their, yeah, yeah. forty. Yeah. What player are you running? Third and seven. Slants. Me too. Are you serious? Oh, yeah. As slants. long as it's man it's covers. Like man covers slants every single time, yeah. man. And I tell you a good kicker if, if is I like running. All verts, Hail Mary, but the inside slot receiver oh, does a little, a little slant. Yeah, and post. he usually gets matched up on the linebacker. Yes. And, I mean, he's he's down the seam wide open yeah. every time. Well, if it's cover two, yeah, I mean, it's well, a given. Well, the thing is, we're going to have to see how this playbook – I'm going to have to study this playbook a little bit <laughs> yeah. to see where we're at before the di – but, yeah, row 60 dynasty, everybody who's into it, let's do it, and we're, we're going to make a rule. Of course, nobody can play with Georgia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All MAC teams. Oh wow, Akron! 
Wait Buffalo. a minute. How is that going to work if – I wonder if you do a league like that, if everybody has to choose a different team. So maybe, you get what I'm saying? Like, can three people be Akron? And mm. if not, we'll have nah. to, okay, so then we'll do like all Sun Mac, Belt, Mac. All group of five. All, all group of five. All group of five. Yeah. Group yeah. Of five. Like okay. It doesn't matter who you're going to take. You can take <laughs> Coastal Carolina, App State, Georgia Southern. Hawaii. Uh, yeah, Troy. Um, man, this is gonna be good. Louisiana Tech, yep. any of the MAC teams, man, this is gonna be gold. You could be I the cannot zips. wait. Yes, yes, you could be the Raging Cages from Louisiana Monroe. I mean, a lot of excitement. You could be the Aggies from New Mexico State. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Liberty Flames. Yeah. Oh, All right. Man. So that's what we're gonna do. Row sixty dynasty, um, online dynasty. Can't be a power five team. Got to be a group of five team. I think we should also do a cash prize. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I don't know how much. Hundred percent. I, maybe it's the thing where everybody pitches in 10 bucks. And we make it last a while. You play a game a yep. week. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, for people who don't care about video games, I'm sorry. But we had, we, we had to. <laughs> had to. We had, had to. to do it. Had to do it. Uh, oh, one more wait, note man. on this. Over 10,000 different college football players are opting into the game. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Arch Manning is not. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, EA. Yeah. Listen to this won't allow you to manually create a player who doesn't want to be in the game either. So, oh, if, so you can't plug in like Arch Manning. Right. You can't just create a player and it be number 16 for Texas and on the back of his jersey say Manning. Ah, well, that's interesting then. I don't know how that's going to work if it's just going to like automatically say this player can't be created or what. But yeah, that's, we'll that's neat. I can't wait, man. I do love a create a player mode. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it, a lot of good things, man. It's going to be exciting. I hope in Dynasty that I could like have the option this to actually hire like be the coach and hire my offense coordinator defense coordinator you know they did the coaching carousel yeah, last yeah, yeah but you couldn't dictate like if your coordinator was going to leave to go take a head coaching job or either a lateral job to another coordinator spot like give them a bump you know yeah. or you say you have one leave to be a head coach let me go steal um I don't know, South Florida's defense coordinator or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I wish we you could have that option where you could manually decide who your assistants would be. Yeah. Like NFL head coach back in the day. That was a great, that was a great video game. I don't think great it was. Great video game. <laughs> oh, it was. For, for football nerds, it was a great I video mean, game. I mean, sure. Because you I, got to control. I mean, no, you didn't get to play in the game, but you got to – Hire coaches, yeah. fire coaches, position coaches. It, it, it was, was a great game. It was an interesting concept. It was I just a great it, game. It was okay. a great game. All right. It, 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 it was a die. great game. I will die on that hill if you don't know anything about it because that is going deep way back. Yeah. NFL head coach, look it up. Who read, was on read the read cover? I Bill Cower, the original one. Yeah, yeah. Because they did one in 06, and it was Bill Cower on uh, the PS2, I and it was one great. was Tony Dungy. Yes, it was, 09. That yeah. one wasn't as good as 06. Okay, maybe that's the one. But, I mean, it was about. great. You could get fired. You could hire people. You had weekly staff meetings. I mean, it was just good. Anyway, I digress. I'm oh, sorry. Man. We have really gone off the rails. I don't know how many people are going to enjoy this episode, but I'm having a blast. Me too. Uh, let's continue the fun. Let's skip right. over NFL dogs. Yeah, we'll uh, talk know. about that later. That's yeah, right. yeah. 2025 schedule released uh, today as, as of the recording of this episode. And here's who we got. We got Alabama at home. This is, once again, 2025. So not right. this upcoming season, but the next. That's right. 2025 that year you basically do the reverse reverse the you know the dance the, <laughs> yeah the, uh, that's oh, what uh, you do the yeah <laughs> what is that everybody Cupid clap your <laughs> hands reverse, reverse. <laughs> we're gonna get yep. a copyright strike because you, it's gonna recognize that song and, no i'm just kidding but yeah uh, the reverse you, you're basically flipping the schedule exactly right yeah alabama at is. home kentucky at home Ole miss at home texas no at home yeah, I mean, that's amazing. I didn't think they'd do that. I figured, like, we would be getting Oklahoma at home. You yeah, know, maybe going on the road to A&M, but nah, that's going to have to wait I, another year for that. This will make three straight years of playing Ole Miss. I don't get it. I mean, that's maybe, amazing. maybe they really like the Kirby Lane-Kiffin matchup. Yeah, I mean, Georgia used to play Ole Miss every single year for years, all throughout the 90s and really? into the early 2000s, man. Hmm. I'm probably the last year that they didn't play Ole Miss every single year was 2004 yeah that sounds right yeah yeah but every year before then they from yeah from from the dawn of time to 2003 they played they played Ole Miss every year so yeah kind yeah. of getting back that old kind of rivalry there well Clark. that's um, a really really fun home slate right there uh, and I a think lot of people's complained about it for the past few years that not having that big home game yep. I mean heck you're gonna get multiple ones there it's gonna yeah. be big can't <laughs> wait man 
I, I don't even want to know what the Texas and Alabama tickets are going to be. Yeah, and then no Ooh. telling what Ole Miss will be. We'll see what Kiffin does. Mm-hmm. If he's if uh, heck, Ole Miss might be breaking in a new coach that year. Potentially, you don't know. Yeah, you, don't you never know. know. Uh, Auburn, exciting. Florida, and Jacksonville, Mississippi State, and Tennessee on the road. Yeah. So you know, I, I'm glad we're maintaining that Auburn rivalry. I thought we were going right. to lose it. I yeah. Uh, uh, thankfully, we still got it. I really cherish the trips we took this previous year to Auburn and Tennessee because I yeah. thought, man, it, there's no telling when this next time we'll be back here, you mm-hmm. know. But, hey, lo and behold, we're going to get them like it, a normal rotation right. that we've seen from the beginning of time that uh, I love going to Knoxville. That's my favorite road trip, just that that trip in general. Mm-hmm. Now, the fans in the stadium, I don't really care, but I just like going there to that, that game. So yeah. getting that again – was uh that's that's got me fired up excited about that man taking a day trip to Auburn's good so I like it I yeah. like it Missouri no sorry no Missouri no Vandy, South Carolina no, no South Shane Carolina. Beamer Clark man are we doing it well when Georgia because it's safe to say Georgia will play South Carolina again in 2026 yeah I think that's early right. wager will, mm-hmm. will Shane Beamer be the head coach in 2026 oh, for the man. South Carolina are you te- wait this really may have been the last time we've played Shane Beamer. Very well could be. And thank is he gonna God make he it did through, not upset us. Is he going to make it? Oh yeah. Oh, is is he going to make it through a full season in 2024 and 25 to get to him in 26? Ooh, I don't know. No, I don't. I don't, I don't know. No, no, no. The schedule's too brutal, man. But who do they go get? I don't know at that point in time. Do they, we'll do they poach Kirby Smart? Oh yeah. Well yeah. I mean, I mean, who wouldn't want to go to Columbia, South Carolina? Yeah, just a great coach. place <laughs> to live, but to to thrive. It's They've wild, got the best man. roads over it's there. It's wild, but you look at it. The but the middle of the road, bottom dwellers in the SEC. These schools are gonna have to temper their expectations for their coaches now because I mean, you look at Vanderbilt, man. They couldn't win a game in the East. In the East, they. They would get, you know, I mean, they would get to play the Kentuckys. I know Missouri was good this previous year, but hadn't been good the past few years before that. I mean, were winnable, could have been winnable games potentially. The Missouris, the Kentuckys, South Carolina. But now, you know, you're throwing Texas, Oklahoma in the mix. And I know they kind of did something with the schedule where they did put them in tiers in the sense of yeah. uh, the program prestige and, and what have you. But still, it's going to be some tough sledding for some of these coaches who aren't on the mountaintop. And it's going to be very interesting to see if the patience from the administration Administration and these athletic departments uh, change than what it's historically been here mm-hmm. um, with the new schedule or not. So we'll see. And that's yeah. something that we'll be keeping a close eye on the next couple of years. And then a few more games. Uh, these are out of conference. Yep. UCLA in the Rose Bowl. Oh, man. That is going to be a fun game. Yeah, and I'm interested wild, to see how boy. many dogs make that trip because, man, yeah. I mean, that's – I mean, we're talking a lot of money that year. You know, you're looking at it. 2017, George played Oklahoma in the Rose Bowl, of course, mm-hmm. on uh, New Year's Day of 2018. Mm-hmm. But uh, that trip, and then Georgia went to Los Angeles, of course, to play TCU in the 2022 season and. 2023 early january is when they made the trip out there so a lot of georgia fans we were blessed to go watch georgia play in southern california what would that be two times in four years is mm-hmm. that right mm-hmm. would that be four years yep. roughly right uh five yeah. five that'd be five yeah, years five. that'd be five years 18 to 23 yep. or percent. when you when you cross that when you have when you're dealing with different years right there it's kind of but yeah. it would be let's call it the reg, the seasons were 17 and 22 so five years the kirby era. yeah so i mean that's that's amazing i mean before then georgia hadn't played in los angeles and shoot since the 42 rose bowl so you got the chance to go to la do the the tourist stuff out there see the rose bowl and all that good fun stuff. And then the national championship, of course, in a different venue. Mm-hmm. But you still got to do kind of the tour stuff there and go out and see Hollywood and do do whatever. But so is that going to put a damper on Georgia fans probably not going out there that would have had those postseason games not been played out there? Yeah, I mean, I, I think if, uh, you know, I think some people – would probably like like yourself would probably like to keep the memory that's what, of the Rose yeah. Bowl and yeah. I totally I mean, I'd understand I mean that. you know everything I remember everything about that day it was magical. and I remember the how beautiful the the scenery was and just mm-hmm. how you just felt like this was college football the history in that building you felt yeah. the ghost in that building Clark yeah I know that sounds good but you did yeah you did you know you were there. I mean did yeah, it not it just feel like chilling. unlike any other venue mm-hmm. you'd ever been in mm-hmm. I can't imagine being a player in it but as a fan sitting in those stadium and knowing the history in that building and it being the actual Rose Bowl game not a UCLA sure. regular season game and what it meant the first playoff game in Georgia football history how it was won that memory you couldn't 
couldn't script it any better. Yeah. So yeah, my thing is like, do I want to go out there and go back to that venue because all I'm going to be doing is reliving that night in my yeah. head and remembering every spot I was at, you know. Um, so I mean, yeah, I think that a lot of people are going to be asking themselves that: is it worth it going back out there? after just being out there and what that experience was, even, you know, this is a regular season game. Well, and I really – God, you look at – you know, Auburn traveled to UCLA last year and played them. Played Cal. There. Oh, Cal. Yeah, that's and, right. And Berkeley. That's a, that's, a, that's a few hour drive up north. Yeah. It was, it was oh, it was Cal, yeah. Sorry, the Rose Bowl in California Stadium does look similar. That's right. They do. They Shoot, do. No, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. I was about to say, you know, they really didn't have many fans. Well, UCLA generally don't – they don't even they fill up the fan. first oh, – yeah. Row they're, they're, of honestly, their programs. The are, oh, that game could be canceled because UCLA's football program could be canceled. <laughs> yeah. I mean, their head coach just left for an offense coordinator position. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> and, and that's why I'm saying, like, I, I don't think the tickets to the game will necessarily be the, the oh, expensive no, part. The and then, listen, Georgia fans are going to travel out there. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know absolutely. if it, we're going to fill up the stadium. I do think it'd be really cool if we yeah. kind of took over. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't see that being out of the realm of possibility. But anyway, UCLA in the Rose Bowl, out of conference game in 25. Also, we have Tech on the road and Austin P and Charlotte, the cupcakes, all three of those. Yeah, man. You heard me at Brent Key. All four of those are cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Tech would beat UCLA. Probably. Especially at that 2025, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, man. But, uh, hey, we got to get through this season. I mean, it's it's cool looking at 2025, but, man, 2024, we got That's a fun right. season That's coming right. up That's right. this year. Uh, a few more things here. Let's move on to ESPN and college football play also. Uh, I don't know if y'all saw this. ESPN and the CFP agreed to a new TV revenue deal that will pay $1.3 billion. Whew. That's with a B. That's annually. A B. That's a B. Uh, that's insane. And I think uh, – I can't even comprehend that. I want to say I read somewhere where each SEC team is going to get $23 million just from that. Wow. Well, whether I think that's whether you make it or not. You just yeah. get $23 million just yeah. casual. Yeah. Man. It's a lot of money. Um, yeah. And then a, a bigger note, a 14-team playoff is coming in 2026. Yeah. Just gonna, what the heck? They're just going to keep expanding, expanding, expanding it. Um, that's just something, man. We've preached it before. Just enjoy every season of college football while you can because who knows where it's going to go. I mean, who knows? Who knows? I mean, obviously, we'll still be loving George football and fun because we're fanatics, but uh, it's going to become even more – unrecognizable each year mm -hmm. you know i'm excited about the excitement uh, uh, of the newness of this year like i've alluded to so many times already but uh we'll see if it's healthy for the game or not yeah so 14 teams let's think about this for a second does that mean like one plays 14 and that sort of thing do we have a yeah do we have an east and a west kind of a i don't thing? know what the world happens there I, man. you know it's gonna be wild it's gonna be who wild. are there buys involved like the, yeah. the four more well, on-campus playoff games? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, this is going to get wild. Um, it it's will. already wild. You yeah. know, moving into a 12-team playoff, and here we go. We're already talking about a 14-team. But yep. I think it, a lot of this has to do with Notre Dame uh, just being ticked off because they weren't going to be guaranteed in this 12-team playoff a bye week, right? And that's yeah. a competitive advantage, I think, uh, to have one of those coveted buys that yeah. each conference champion will get. Well, Notre Dame's not in the conference. And if that's I were the NCAA, fault. I'd say that's your fault, right? That's right. You, you want to make plenty money? of chances. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to make money doing your own TV deals and that sort of thing? Fine, but well, they've been bailed out so many times and catered to. And, and the and COVID year, they got to play in the ACC, but then when they make it, ACC championship, and then when they make it, they get embarrassed. Yep. You know. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right, Adam. I think that's that's about it. Oh man, good episode. A lot of hey, I know this episode. It was a lot of different topics, not just Georgia football, in, in the sense of I mean, all of it was tied into Georgia yeah. athletics and football, and you know the video game chat, man. But you know, we just wanted to get on here, um, begin of spring practice in in the March, and just kind of just touch base with everybody. And hopefully, you know, we set last episode and weren't able to, but start pumping out more of these consistently and kind of get organized with like. Maybe Clark after spring practice when we talk about spring practice and going forward, we get more in depth episodes of on position groups yeah. and guys and really take an in depth look. Maybe break down defensive line and linebackers one episode mm -hmm. and really take a deep dive at the guys in there and uh, and really get fired up about this upcoming season. But it'll be here before we know it. It'll be here before we know it. But uh, G Day's coming. 
if you can, come to Athens, Georgia, man. The only time you get Georgia football from January to September. That is nine months. Nine months and roughly four weekends in a month, give or take a fifth here or there. So let's call it 38 weekends. 38 Saturdays right there, Clark. Yeah. Bro, give or take. Yeah. Give or take 38 Saturdays right there. You only get Georgia football during one of them. That is April 13th at 1 o'clock. Athens, Georgia, man. Come tailgate with us before, man. Just catch up. We'll have a good time. We'll be giving details about that. Should be exciting. So keep an eye on that. Hope everybody is doing well and everybody's family's doing good, man. Please come. Would love to just catch up with everybody. And uh, if I haven't met you yet, would love to meet you. But um, get you some red and black. Go to PeachStatePride.com. Check them out. Get some apparel for G-Day. It's time to let the big dog eat in the yes, spring, baby. Go dog. Go dog. Woo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>